Welcome to our Five on Five. We're previewing Ashland's Martin Luther King Jr. Holiday Celebration with Claudia Alick from Oregon Shakespeare Festival and from SAU, Dr. Alma Rosa Alvarez. Thank you both so much for coming today. Thank you for having us. All right, so Claudia, let me start with you. Uh, you've been involved with this for several several years now. It's, it's coming up on Monday. Uh, was it the 16th, I believe? That's correct. We've had rooms full of amazing community members, like 15, 20 people at a time, planning this event, coming up with the theme over delicious Martoli's Pizza. And we're just so thrilled about the show. We're going to have Brent Florendo and Phoenix Sigalov doing beautiful Native American music. We've got um, Alan Porosky's Ashland High School students. They've created these beautiful kind of paper pop art hearts um, on the theme of love that will be decorating the entire uh, area. We'll have adorable Walker, High, uh, Walker Elementary School children um, singing. Uh, mm. Lassen and Nada, our uh, former poet laureate, is going to be doing some poetry about Japanese internment. Uh, Rabbi Bottinger is going to also be doing some poetry, and uh, musicians from Temple Imic Shalom will be playing. So it's a really full program. It's a community celebration, this thing. You guys have been doing it for years. It's huge. So it's on the plaza. What time are you guys getting started? Well, we start at the Armory. So at you'll the see armory, the show right. okay. at the Armory mm -hmm. at noon. The show goes for about an hour and a half, and then we do this amazing march afterwards where we gather on the plaza. Okay. Okay, very nice. So uh, the, the theme this year, Power, Justice, Love for All. Dr. Alvarez, how does that dovetail with you? You're the keynote speaker. How does right. this uh, go with what you're going to be talking about? Well, one of the things that I wanted to focus on in terms of my particular keynote is some of that work that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. did um, in response to the Vietnam War, where he really articulates a vision that he has about love. And a lot of times when we think about love or people talk about love, they're like, oh, we, we would solve all the world's problems if we just had love for each other. But the love that they often talk about is a really sort of passive kind of love. And he really articulates a type of love that is not passive, that is not about humiliating people who think differently than you, um, really standing in for them and seeing for them, propping them up until you know people can really come together and work together harmoniously. So I'll be addressing some of those points. Mm -hmm that make Dr. Martin Luther King such a strong figure because I think a lot of times people try to create a dichotomy between Malcolm X and Dr. Martin Luther King and sort of flatten his image as, as a civil rights activist. But I, I hope that what I present will show people that he really had some deep inspiration that, it, that was not passive at all and was really quite powerful. Mm -hmm. so. and, and this event is, is huge. So you guys typically have overflow. What, what can people do to, to be a part of it if they're not able to get in? We'll be live streaming. Thank you so much to RVTV. We'll be live streaming to the Varsity Theater so people can actually go there, watch the show with people, mm. or they can watch online. They can go to SOMLK.org and watch the show um, online from there. Okay, wow, very nice. Oh, and just a little plug we mm -hmm. will actually for the first time have Spanish translation and so sure. we're really excited because Good. that'll be another sort of inclusive part of the community um, yeah. piece. Yeah and, and so it sounds like Claudia this year uh, we have we have celebrations all over the valley as well it's not it's obviously in Ashland on oh, Monday yes. the 16th but there's other things going on tell us about some of that. Well if they go to the website somlk.org they mm -hmm. can see that Medford's going to be th doing their celebration on Sunday and our our MC DL Richardson will be mm -hmm. their keynote speaker. Oh, um, I'll be doing some poetry at Central Points uh, celebration on Thursday evening so there's a lot going on in the valley and after our celebration on Monday, that evening, there's going to be an interfaith clergy circle uh, talking about where does, the, where does your power for love come from? And they'll be talking about power, love, and faith. And they're meeting at Ashland's First Congregational United Church of Christ. Very nice. Well, it's never too early to come in and preview a big event like this. Claudia, Dr. Alvarez, thank you both so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having right. us. My pleasure. Stay with us. We'll be right back.